scrambling on board a life raft deployed by the Maltese Armed Forces. On Friday, a boat carrying migrants capsized near the Italian island of Lampedusa and Malta. Rescue crews reported seeing bodies in the water. The Coast Guard said most people on board had been rescued. The injured were taken to the hospital in Lampedusa. Maltese police say migrants were also being taken to Malta. Everything is under control. They were soaking wet, but they're OK. So far this year, it's thought more than 30,000 people have made their way to Italy by sea. It's one of the main entry points into the EU for asylum seekers crossing from North Africa. The UN says 3,000 people try to flee each month from Eritrea and Somalia alone, many making the perilous journey towards the island of Lampedusa in a bid to find a better life in Europe. The disaster comes as Italy prepares to hold state funerals for more than 300 African migrants who drowned near the island last week. It was one of the worst such disasters to happen in the region. Italy has since been promised 30 million euros in EU funds to help care for arriving migrants. But the Maltese Prime Minister says it's not enough. We're just building a cemetery within our Mediterranean Sea. We feel here abandoned guarding Europe's frontier, uh, where, yes, we act as patrols, yes, we act as rescuers, but feel on our own. And throwing money at the, uh, at the problem won't make it go away. Yeah. <laughs> so soon after last week's migrant tragedy, this latest accident highlights the plight that people face. Undeterred by the dangers, they remain at the mercy of smugglers who continue to use unseaworthy vessels to transport people desperate for a new life. Katerina Moe, BBC News.